Hello and welcome to the Eversaga RPG's second preview vlog. I'm Alexander Agunis, publisher and lead designer of the Eversaga RPG, and today I want to chat a little bit about Eversaga's iconic characters. But before we get started, you might be wondering, what is an iconic character? Well, the way that we use it in the Eversaga RPG, the iconic characters are sort of like preset player characters that give a artistic look at the kind of things that players can do in the ever saga rpg there is a iconic character that represents a species class combination for each class in the game so there are seven in all because there are seven classes and seven species you might be wondering, why would you bother having iconic characters? One of the advantages of doing so is that it creates a strong trade look for your game. You can start to equate the look of these characters with the game itself. It's very easy to see a game and look at a character and be like, oh, I know that character, I've played them before, or they're on all the box art from my favorite book. And then all of a sudden that sort of ties everything together. Uh, it also makes ordering art a lot easier <laughs> my experience because when you're actively thinking hmm what kind of things should I get do you're not like worried as much about who to put where and it makes writing art briefs much quicker because you can just hand off a you know list of traits like a pre-written almost like a style guide for your character and you just give that to the artist and be like this is the stuff I want you to do and this is what I want them doing and that way you can send out a whole lot of art briefs really quickly without having to worry a whole lot about oh is this person going to remember to put a tail on my kitsune I've had that happen before so with all of this, you might be wondering who are Eversaga's uh, iconic characters. We have seven in all, like I mentioned, because we have seven classes and seven species in the game. We have uh, Avrini, our Hoflin Bard. We have Velstalix, our Vetspali Elementian. Dine, our Elf Mage. Cormac, our Nashi Maven. Iria, our Human Mystic. Ignar, our Dwarf Shapeshifter. And Kirshen, our Kitsune warrior. So together with all seven of these characters, the goal is to create a sort of unified feel for what you can do in the game. And you can kind of like pinpoint the characters to the general types of classes and what they're doing. If you see Kirshen, you're like, oh, Kirshen is in the warrior section. This is a warrior doing this cool thing. And that can help show you that different types of characters can participate in different areas of play. For example, in the skills section, uh, we very deliberately went out of our way to put characters in places that are typical for that class fantasy and also sort of atypical for what other games do. A good example is that Dine is absolutely on the Arcana skill page where he is like sitting with an amulet and he's like staring at this amulet like, oh, I got to figure out the magical properties of this amulet. But he's also in the athletics page where he's using his like swole biceps to just burst through chains. And that's not something you would generally think of a mage doing, but Dine is the iconic mage so clearly in ever saga mages can be swole enough to bust through metal chains all right i hope this has been informative to uh, all anyone who is interested in our project uh, regarding our iconic characters and i hope you've gotten to see some cool art i am looking to probably talk about the different species of the game more in depth in our next one but if there's anything you specifically want to hear make sure you leave me a comment and i'll do what i can to get back to it i know i have one person who really wants to hear me talk about the luck rules and that's a patreon exclusive blog post right now i'm trying to decide if that's something that i want to change since the patreon is still pretty early and we could totally use some people uh willing to Follow us and uh, support us as we make our game. But until next time, I'm Alexander Gunas, and thanks again for listening. Take care.